in this uh, video what we are going to say is how to update an element uh, in a node in a linked list so for example given the linked list like this i would like to update b to some other value so how to do that for that you have to search the whole list uh, linked list is a sequential you have to search one by one only it is not random so using this next pointer you have to move to the next node and using this next you have to move to this and so on till the value which you are searching is uh, uh, found so what you have to do is now if you see this coding c++ coding you can see the old value and new value we are passing to this member function update less old value old value will be b i would like to change it to f so in which case i will pass the new value as f so it is b and f so it search for b and then in that position the b value will be changed to f so in order to do that what are all the techniques it has to do it will have uh, one more pointer called c u r r we are keeping our current s in this we are keeping a pointer called current so here we declare a pointer current which is of type node and then position equal to zero this we are uh, we try to find in which position so for example if it is b zero uh, that is uh, one two and three in third position of the linked list this b is present we may want to give uh, print that value also so in that case we keep this pointer now we declare a temporary pointer called current which is of type node then here we are checking whether any value is in the list if it is so only you can so so first we are checking whether linked list is an empty or not so for that we are checking the head pointer is equal to null if it is equal to null then the list is empty print it and return else now we do the for loop for loop initially we assign this head pointer to current so now onwards we move the only the current pointer we should not use the head pointer because if you move the head pointer you lose the nodes so uh, head will be always there well, now what we have to do is we are assigning the temporary pointer current uh, current to head now we are going to move next into the next question by using this statement current equal to current next and so on till what current is not equal till it reaches the end of the list suppose j is a end of the list maybe here we may have the slash that is a null pointer so in that uh, so till the end of the list so Yes, imagine B the value which we are going to find and J is the end of the list. Now here uh, if current data, current is now pointing to this. Now I am going to search for B and I am going to change that value to F. That is the thing. So old value is B and new value is F. Now if current data, current data means this is the current. This is the information field which is nothing but data and then here it is next field is it equal to this old value so c is not equal to b so if so what will happen we will replace that current data with a new value and then we print position is replaced with here our previously the position was zero so it is at the index zero so it is placed with replaced with new value and return so uh, it comes out of the for loop now suppose it is not equal to then what happens position is incremented now it is becomes one and then the for loop will continue now current equal to current next so now current becomes one or two now we check the value if current data is equal to old value no so again it p uh, the value of uh, p was will be incremented now it becomes two so now here again you go inside the current next now you check it is equal to b so what you do in that you overwrite the new value which is nothing but f now and then you print the value old value is present at position 
then we, what is the position value that you are printing is replaced with a new value. And then uh, if not, if the whole loop is over and you are not, suppose you are searching for F. Here you search, search and search and you have reached the null pointer. So in which case if the for, whole for loop is over and it has reached the current is equal to null, then it comes out. In that case, you, you will, it will be printing that the pulled value is not present.